What's up, Fit Pros? We are video three of 14, and today we talk about how to get productive. Uh, we're gonna talk about how to get influx of leads and also sales and all the rest in the upcoming videos, but today is all about how to get productive because without productivity and time management, well, we can't get anything done. And this is the question I get asked all the time. I have so much to do. My list keeps growing every single day and I feel like I can never get it all done. It makes me feel overwhelmed. How do I get on top of things? And this is something that everyone has. Until they start having a great time management system, there's multiple factors at play when we're looking into productivity. And today on this video, I'm gonna break down the top three that will get you moving in the right direction. When we're looking at this, there's the time blocking method, which is using, I like to use the Eisenhower matrix. And I'll put this up on the screen at, at later in the, in the video. Um, but with this, what it does is it gives your tasks a time and place to live, and also helps you eat the frog, as Brian Tracy would say, and get the most important things done first. Two is understanding flow. And if you're seeing anxiety or boredom when it comes to your tasks, how do you overcome this and make sure you get in flow? The next one is using the motiv that motivation equation. We touched on this briefly in a previous video, but how do we use the motivation equation to your advantage so we can understand how to get motivated and say, stay motivated for tasks to get completed? So the first thing is understanding productivity and getting your business moving forward. You're gonna be wearing so many hats as a business owner, you're the marketing specialist, you're the sales specialist, you're the coach, you're the manager, you're the cleaner. Depends on where you are in your business. But using the Eisenhower matrix helps you have four key distinctive boxes to put your tasks inside. You know, on the uh, image that you can see, there's urgent and important. Okay, so urgent and important. These are the things that happen. There's that you just got to get get it done. You got to get them fixed straight away. There's the not urgent but important. And this is where I want you to spend the majority of your time. There's the not important and urgent, okay? This is the stuff you get to delegate if you can. And there's the not important and not urgent. And well, this is the tasks you just delete because you don't need to do them. They, they really shouldn't even be on your task list. So when we put all of our tasks, if you write them all down, if you have this big to-do list, you can start putting one, two, three, four next to them if they are in whatever boxes they are. So again, it, like let's look at this. The urgent and important. Well, this is someone who broke into your business and they smashed the window. Well, clearly that's urgent and important. We need to, one, call the cops. We need to fix the window. We need to get something sorted straight away. Two, someone's injured themselves in a session and needs help. Well, you got to deal with it straight away. You could be calling a disgruntled member or fixing something something like that, and that's gonna be urgent and important. Or it could be taking a training session, okay? You gotta be there. If you're the coach and you go to take the training sessions, it's urgent and important. There is time that has to be done if you don't have the staff. Well then, where we wanna spend most of our time is working on the business, the not urgent but important tasks. This is maybe getting your Facebook ads up and getting your marketing on point. It's calling your leads at a specific time because we know that we need to get those sales in the door. It could be writing up your gym sessions because you wanna have the best sessions going around so people love what you're currently doing. Um, so then there's the urgent and not important, okay? This could be cleaning your gym, right? It's, it's when we're looking at this, it's urgent. You do got, you have to do it at some point throughout the day or some point throughout the week, but it's not important. It doesn't have to be done right now. Um, it could be also suspending memberships. It's urgent, but you don't have to do it right now. You can do it at some point today or tomorrow. Then there's obviously the not urgent and not important. Could be scrolling your social media. So when we're looking at all our tasks, we want to categorize them into one of these four boxes. And we're building out our day or our and our week. We want to block time out. Okay, when is the time that I need to do the not urgent but important tasks. And I wanna block you know, a good three hours for those tasks and I wanna eat the frogs because they're the things that are really gonna drive my business forward. So it could be nine to 12 every single day is your not urgent but important time. From nine to 10, you get your Facebook ads up. Um, maybe you get one at least one ad written and that could be you know, on Mondays, Tuesdays, you have a different marketing um, thing you're getting done, maybe some outreach or something like that. From 10 to 11, call leads and you have an outcome attached to this um, this time block from 10 to 11 you want to get and talk to a minimum of two prospects whatever you do you talk to a minimum of two prospects during this time and from 11 to 12 you write up three workouts and that's what you get done and now we have our, when we're looking at our not urgent but important tasks, they have three hours every single day that you just stay focused. And during this time, you're completely blocked off from the world. Nothing else is there to distract you, nothing to take you away. You can start building out your week. 
You know, every Sunday, you put in those not urgent but important tasks through the next five or six days ahead. And now all of a sudden, you have this sense of calm because you know where those important tasks live and you know exactly the outcome for those hours and we can start moving forward. And the rest of the stuff sort of fits around them. And that's what we have to look at. And once we start to time block our week, well, then we need to focus on why we get distracted and how do we get out of anxiety and get out of boredom. And with this, I like to look at flow. And Mahali Chi sent me high, created a book. He wrote a book called Flow, and I'll put up the um, the diagram on this on the video as well. So when we look at the challenge, so maybe it is Facebook marketing. If the challenge is too high and our skills are too low currently, it puts us into anxiety. And when we're in anxiety, we tend to procrastinate. We tend to get distracted. We tend to do other tasks. Or if the challenge is too low and our skills are too high, well, we get bored. And we start to get distracted again and we start to procrastinate again because we're like, oh, I don't want to do this task. It's so easy and boring. So with this, we never want to be in anxiety. We never want to be in boredom. We want to stay in flow. So with this, we want to try and have tasks that are just outside our comfort zone. So if it's about 5% outside our comfort zone, it's going to continue to push us forward. We're going to continue to strive and grow and get that 1% better every single day. And we don't want them to be low our, our skill level, putting them into that boredom as much as possible. We want to try and delegate those tasks if we can. So how do we do this? How do we get into flow? Well, we want to feel competent at the tasks. It's as crucial as that. If you are feeling like a touch outside your comfort zone with marketing and it's making you push yourself, then yes, this is great. Um, do you have a routine set up? to get you into flow and things that make sure that you're pushing yourself forward. Do you have the call script list? Do you have your mobile phone? Is your social media turned off when you're doing it so it doesn't distract you? Yes, then great. Do you have distractions turned off? Everyone knows that this is your call time and this is your flow time. Yes, then great. All of a sudden, we've put these three things in place to get us into flow and move us forward inside business. So if we have these, let's look at a sample routine. While we're doing our phone sales and we want to go, okay, cool. I'm going to turn off social media and that's step one. And you have a task list and you just go down this task list to make sure you're getting into flow. Um, you get your call script ready and your lead list ready. Have you got these two things? Fantastic. You're going to read over a testimonial of a great client that you've cha transformed their life to remind you what you're selling. You're selling life transformations. You're selling the ability to make someone's life better. This will put you in a great mind frame and mindset to actually do the sales. You've listened to your favorite pump, pump up song and you have a great energy um, coming into the, into the call. So then you've closed the door, okay? Do not disturb and you start dialing and you wanna dial every single 60 seconds. So with this, that's essentially how I want you to get yourself ready every single day before your phone calls. Before that, remember, not urgent but important task inside that time block. You set yourself up for flow. So we've created time blocking, we've understand flow, and now it brings us to the last thing, which is the motivation equation. It's M equals V times E over I times D. So it's motivation equals value times expectancy over impulsivity times delay. So again, we'll come back to that whole you know phone sales um, scenario. So well, let's look at it. Someone who's demotivated with sales, okay? The value they place on the sales, well, you know, obviously it's still gonna be high. Let's say, let's rate them one to 10. It's gonna be around a seven. They understand that, you know, they need to make sales to grow their business. The expectancy, however, is a one because they don't feel they're great at sales. They don't have a call script. They don't have a flow. They call whenever they try to call and they you know leave it to the last minute because other things um, take priority for them because they just don't like it. And they say the leads are shit. And all of a sudden they don't think they're going to make a sale. So that's going to be a one. So it's seven times one. These are our numerators here. And then we go look at our denominators. Well, impulsivity, it's an eight. They're not in flow. They have their Facebook and Instagram open. They're just doing it at the front desk where people keep walking in and talking to them. Um, they're constantly getting distracted from everything else. So all of a sudden, when we're looking at this, the, the impulsivity is an eight out of 10. It's super high, okay? And then we look at delay. Well, they don't have daily goals to keep them focused, to keep them motivated. And they go, ah, oh, it's okay. Parkinson's law, right? I've got the whole month to make sales. If I don't make sales today, it's okay. And they just, they go, fine, that's all right. I'll push it till tomorrow. So the delay is a long period and they always push it and they always push it. It's like the person who says, I'm gonna start my diet on Monday. So when we look at this, the motivation equation, it's seven times one, over 
eight times seven. So when we look at this, the motivation equation works out to about 0.125, which is super low on the motivation scale, which is why you're probably not getting the sales through the door. When we look at it, someone who is motivated, okay, someone who's, who's pumped up to get the sales done, they're probably the same as value. They're about seven or eight out in value. You know, they, they see the value in doing tasks. They want to grow their business. They're super pumped. The expectancy is an eight because they've got a call script. They love selling. They love knowing that every single time they talk to someone, whether they buy or not, they're there to change their life. Their passion is to help people and convert at least one person to it per day to change their life, and they do it with consistency. So expectancy is super high for this person. Impulsivity. They looked at time blocking. They understand how to get into flow. They've turned off social media notifications. They've got this hour of power. They do their phone sales. Um, they oh, close the door. They say, don't interrupt me during this hour from 10 to 11 every single day. This is my phone sales time to help me start changing lives. So they have this. It's an, it, When we're looking at this, the impulsivity is two. It's super low because all distractions are out. Then we go to the next thing, which is delay. Well, they, they've got their self a setup. It's a goal of one sale every single day into a paid trial. And if they hit their one sale a day for five days of the week, they all of a sudden they reward themselves. It's like I hit five sales this week, one a day, then I'm going to get a massage this weekend or give himself a reward. So the delay cycle with this is super short. Okay, and that means they stay super highly motivated. So when we look at this motivation equation, it's, you know, seven times one, so, you know, seven over eight times seven, well, sorry, seven times eight, apologize, seven times eight over two times two. So with this, we look at uh, the motivation equation works out to be 14. So when we're highly motivated, our equation works out to be 14 on the motivation scale. When we're demotivated, it's a 0 0.125. Clearly, these two people are walking into um, their phone sales with two different motivations. Now, you can do this motivation equation for any type of task you're doing. We have to look at the value we place on the task, the expectancy of actually achieving the task, how do we decrease impulsivity or distraction, and how do we shorten the delay cycle and give ourselves some form of reward. If we do this, well, the person with that motivation number of 14, they're absolutely gonna hit their targets. They're gonna crush it, and they're gonna keep dialing every 60 seconds until they get hold of someone, and they're gonna try and change that person's life. The person with the 0 0.125, they're probably going to dial someone every six to 10 minutes. And in their hour of power, they'll probably maybe not even talk to anyone. And if you're not talking to anyone, obviously you're not making sales. If you're dialing every 60 seconds, you probably have two or three conversations inside that hour of power. So you can use this motivation equation for any task inside your business and you can see how motivated you are. So I want you to look at these three things we covered today. There was a motivation equation, there was how to get yourself into flow, and there was the Eisenhower matrix of time blocking and productivity. If you can do these three things, you're gonna get extremely productive and start to move forward with your business. If you wanna talk about how to grow your business by 100K in the next 90 days, just find you know the link or booking place to have a call with us and let us help change your life and grow your business and I'll see you in the next video.